Hello darlings and welcome back to the Talk of Fashion. In today's episode we're going to talk about the Isabella Blow Foundation and what it is. And also I'm going to show you some beautiful footages of up close garments that I had the pleasure to analyze. For those who are not familiar with Isabella Blow, she was a fashion editor and a discoverer of new talent. She discovered people like Philip Tracy, Alexander McQueen, Julian McDonald, Stella Tennant, just to name a few. And she also worked with basically everyone within the fashion industry, from the designer Karl Lagerfeld to photographer David LaChapelle. Her style was very eccentric and for some even outrageous. But from the personal research that I have done and interviews that I had with people that knew her on a personal level, I found a passionate and forward-thinking, intelligent woman that lived her every day in her true colors. After her death, a dear friend of her, Daphne Guinness, bought the wardrobe and established the Isabella Blow Foundation. This charity organization aims to support fashion and art students, offering them a scholarship um, in her name. And I had the pleasure to go and visit the archive and analyze a few garments from one of my favorite Alexander McQueen collection, which is the Autumn Winter 1996 Dante. This collection happened also to be dedicated to Isabella and her style, and McQueen, as we know, drew a lot of inspiration from Isabella. The Winter Collection was presented at Christ Church in Spitalfield in London on the first day of March 1996. The location was decorated with candles and lightning to create a more theatrical and sinister spectacle. Hat designer Philip Tracy said about the collection, All the Victorian influence came from Isabella. Victoriana was her and lots of pieces in the show were from her wardrobe. Isabella and Alexander shared a passion for history through their ancestries. Some of the pieces in Dante were actually antique Victorian garments, reworked for the show. Elements from the Victorian era were a key component in the McQueen design and very much influenced by Isabella. Alright dears, now I want to share with you a few original and personal footage of three pieces from this iconic collection that I have found at the Isabella Blow Foundation. This jacket was runway look number 78. It is the constructed jacket in golden brocade fabric. Like other pieces from the collection, this one has been cut open by the upper arms, still keeping a sharp tailoring that follows the line of the body. The notable slashing technique of this jacket derives from the 16th century fashionable dress, however McQueen exaggerated the original method to open up the sleeves around the elbow and upper arms, and the result is a modern articulated version of a century-old garment type. The silk and wood brocade textile resemble the sumptuous woven brocade of 16th century fabrics. Moving inside the garment, it is impossible to not notice the label, a lock of air set within a clear plastic square. In an interview with Time Out in 1997, he described his inclusion saying, The inspiration behind the hair came from the Victorian times, when prostitutes would sell theirs for kits of hair locks, which were bought by people to give to their lovers. I used it as a signature label with locks of hair in perspex. In the early collection it was my own hair, it was about me giving myself to the collection. The gold bullion coat in black felt wool is an iconic piece from not only this collection, but from the whole body of work produced by Alexander McQueen through the years. The ideas of deconstruction, conflict, tailoring and history are always present in the designer's work and this piece is the culmination of it. This piece has been featured both at the Isabella Blow exhibition at the Somerset House and the Savage Beauty exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum and the Victorian and Albert Museum. What is particularly interesting about this design is the structure presented several times through the years in other collections. Previously in Benshi, Autumn Winter 94 and later in the Dance of the Twisted Bull, Spring Summer 2002, we can see a cohesiveness of this element. 
The embroidered gold bullion cord resonates the historical coat used by military forces in wartime. The tail that hangs down from one side gives a soft and delicate movement to the stiff tailor jacket. To note also an open cut at the back, as if the coat has been in battle and has been slashed open, giving the piece an utterly dramatic character and, personally speaking, representing strength in the wearer. Then we have the Lilac Half Morning Corsetry Jacket in silk fabric. Here you can see the details of the lace embroidery that has carefully been cut around the floral motifs, a technique that has been repeated in both earlier and later collection by Alexander McQueen. The inside of the jacket is constructed like a proper corset with boning inserted into the fabric around the waist to give a tighter effect exactly like a corset would. The jacket's long train runs all the way down to the floor and is decorated with more lace stitched onto the outside fabric. The long train, especially with the heavy embroidery element, recalls the idea of a sophisticated wedding dress, also if we take into consideration where this collection was presented. The theme of religion was on focus, as well as the topic of war, and, as we can see, also on this piece, the jacket has been cut open by the upper arms, reconnecting to this idea of war. It is interesting to notice how the themes of this show are colliding in this garment, creating such a strong statement piece. The silk lilac fabric embellished with black lace and jet beads embroidery is again seen on the final runway look, a corset called Morning Purple, created by the corset master Mr. Pearl and worn by Honor Fraser in the show, who closes it by bowing to Isabella. What is great to see from these clothes is not only the mastery which Alexander had in creating garments, but how Isabella embodied his skills and made them hers by wearing them. Anyone with a model proportion body would have looked amazing in a piece from Mr. McQueen, although Isabella has something more, the attitude. She really appreciated her craftsmanship and level of complexity within her protégé vision, and she wore his design with pride and joy to help him become who she recognizes as a pure talent. Isabella really wore those garments, she lived them. There are cigarettes hole, marks, missing bits, and although it might seem to someone as a disuse, to me it represents and shows how loved and lived those clothes were, and how Isabella really used them to her purpose of nursing the talent within Alexander. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos as much as I did in making it. And I would like to know what you think about it, so remember to comment below and also remember to subscribe because we have a lot of content coming. A lot you have no idea. So remember to subscribe and I guess I'll see you soon here at the Talk of Fashion with me, Mika Lizzie. So see you soon weeks. Bye bye. When it comes to fashion, especially in London, all the major designers, you're always connected to them. What does fashion mean to you? My life. <laughs>